Good morning, guys. Abigail Klutz here from Olathe, Kansas. I'm excited to be on here with you today, Saturday. Beautiful day. I think I'm going to take my daughter to the pumpkin patch after this. So I know there's a lot going on in Virginia right now. I know if you're in the Atlanta area, there are mixers going on this evening. And I also know there's big football games. Okay, I get it. So anyway, today I'm super excited about the training topic, how to funnel a lead into a promoter. How many of you need a little help with that? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Well, I'm super excited to have um, my business partner here with you. And um, she really just came in to prove it, but she has saturated herself in here. Um, I think within like four days, committed to the more event. Her and her husband both came, they went all in. Um, she's on every training call, she's picking up the language culture quickly. If um, many of you are having trouble with new promoters, I would ask you, are, there, are they saturating themselves? Are they on these training calls right here every day to pick up the language and the culture? And if they aren't, are they checking in with you? Are you holding them accountable to action that will drive their business forward, which would be understanding where they're playing and in this space with us here at Prove It. So um, if you missed the calls this week, Monday was on the approach and I thought it was pretty solid. I don't want to say it just because I did it, but I thought it was solid. Um, Tuesday was engaging and mobilizing. Those two trainings were fresh out of the work table at Brian Underwood's place in Kentucky. So it, it wasn't my training. It, it was his training and I thought it was pretty good. Um, we had a follow-up day with Anna Dornier and we had, um, oh, we had an amazing COC profile with Sarah Lovely from Vancouver yesterday who had former uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, multi-level marketing, <laughs> but had made a conscious decision that it wasn't 20 years of um, searching that would bring her out of the game here. It was 20 years of building up to this moment where she could play at a high level. So many people need to hear her story. So go grab those recordings and get them in your notes so you can share them out with others. I know we had a 101 last night with Willie that did not get recorded. We will do that again. This Sunday evening is your opportunity from here to now. Depending on how many five and 10 days you have out your action step to mobilize those people into action is to recruit them on the Sunday night at eight o'clock keto 101 prover 101 call for somebody else to sell it for you you will have dr. Heather Cardin and dr. Jamie Seaman and that's gonna be a killer lineup so you know without any more um, time here I want this to be a solid recording I mean we don't know okay there's 44 people showing up on Saturday it's okay we put an hour of planning into this training right here and right now because we wanted a smoking hot recording for our team to utilize this week so you're blessed if you're on you'll be blessed if you hear the replay this woman knows how to team build how to do attraction marketing and I am going to take her just through a few questions and let you be a part of this and we're gonna get an awesome recording <laughs> so with that being said Jocelyn what up girl go ahead <laughs> let's get into How's it. it going it's going good I'm already getting hot up in here but take us through from the beginning, your story, because you went from a cold lead to a hot promoter here and prove it. And people need to know this process. They're saying, I get customers, but no promoters. What the right. heck? Absolutely. Okay, well, I'm excited for this. We're going to give you some good stuff. Hopefully, you take away some nuggets that you can implement into your own business. Um, little bit about me and my story. Like she said, my name is Jocelyn Vance and I came in to prove it a little bit, very organically. It was not something I was seeking. I actually had just left a previous business that I was kind of burnt out with and was totally not looking for another opportunity, but I did go live, uh, letting my audience know 
that I was leaving my previous opportunity. And in that space spoke about some health concerns that I had been dealing with and going to the doctor about. And Abby reached out to me, very caring uh, about my health and wanted to help me. And I felt that. I felt that she really truly wanted to help me, but I did forewarn her. I am not looking for another product. I, I was very skeptical. Um, just being honest, I, I told her, I said, okay, well, I'll do it and I'll let you know, but I'm giving you my like straight up opinion about this product. So just so you know, if it's negative, you're going to hear it. And I told her, I was like, and don't even think about bringing up a business opportunity to me. That's just kind of the space I was in. I wasn't a negative Nancy, but I kind of was. So um, she just, she presented to me with caring about my health. She cared about getting me on a 10 day experience to kind of show me um, what the product was all about organically um, by giving value to me. And she didn't bring up the business opportunity that also kind of happened organically. And I'm going to go over those steps with you today, but that just gives a little bit of my background. I was not looking for this. I was actually in a space where I was very opposed to it. And because of the process that she went through and that I know to be a fact based off my experience and me building a business, it works. So we're excited to share it with you today and, uh, and give you the goods, give you the deep. So thank you, Abby, for bringing me on. I'm excited to talk about this stuff. Awesome. Awesome. So then let's just dig right in here. Let's go back just a little bit for somebody to even create a lead. I found you, I found your video, but we have so many people sitting on here today that need to create leads through the attraction that they're putting out. So, you know, kind of in like three minutes, let's start with step one. How do you attract people? How do you put good energy out there? What's that about? Absolutely. So I kind of talked about this on another training with your social media attraction, but I'm just going to give three like quick little tips in this space. So really like attracting a lead and then closing a lead comes all with giving value and showing up authentically with who you are. When people see your social media, do they think like, oh, that's who she is. If I talk to her on the side of the road or if I saw her at this event, is, is she showing up authentically on her social media as if this is who she truly is? Do people feel you or are they feeling what you're trying to portray or a sale you're trying to make or a product you're trying to push? There is a big difference. And if you are not showing up the same on social media as you do down the street with your best friend, people can read that energy. They can see that. If you're not using your language, but you're copying and pasting your uplines language or somebody else's post that you saw that was great, you have to show up authentically and then speak your truth. No copy and pasting. Share your story, stories, sell, facts, tell, share your stories, peak interest. Um, raise curiosity, not resistance, you know, start speaking on benefits, not pushing a product to sell and then continuously show up in a space where you are giving value to someone else. Like I said before, you want to be educating or entertaining on your page, not pushing or selling. And you want to be giving value to people. I think when I wake up in the morning, how can I change someone else's life today? How can I get something in front of them that could completely change their space? And if you don't feel that like in your gut and in your soul about what you're doing here, you need to check yourself because if you don't have that mental muscle and that mental belief that your product could help somebody or that this opportunity could change somebody's life, that's your first issue. So check your mindset. If you know that you have value to give, and you wake up every day with that energy that you're going to change someone's life, you're coming across a lot different, not only in your own energy, but to other people than you are if you're waking up saying, oh, I got to sell five 10 day experiences today, or, oh, I have to get another customer. Or I have to get another promoter. Or, I have to rank advance. I have to become a COC. 
if you're pushing your own agenda all the time, then people are going to feel that you're not going to be showing up the way you are authentically meant to show up and you're not going to be making an impact, which is also going to affect your income. If you give value to people on a daily basis, then your income will grow. It just naturally happens. So make sure you're constantly thinking about that and don't attach yourself to somebody else's outcome. So if you have that belief of our products and you have the belief of this opportunity and you're showing up that way and presenting that to somebody else, you, that's all the belief you need to have and the confidence you need to show up in because if you are attaching your emotions to someone else's life, to someone else's decisions of what they choose to do with their life, where they're at, uh, maybe they have stuff going on. Maybe they have a bad relationship going on. Maybe they have a job they're about to lose. You never know what someone else's walk is and, and what they got going on. And if you attach your emotions to whether they buy a 10 day from you or become a customer or become a promoter, then you've lost your business completely because your confidence gets affected. You start questioning yourself. You start questioning if you can do this. You start questioning, you know, how can I build a business off of one person and what they have going on? And then you've removed that passion, that energy, that belief that you're bringing value to people to the next person you talk to because you allowed one person and what they got going on in their life to affect your business. So remove it, remove your emotions from the outcome and instead just stay steady and strong in your authentic belief in what you're doing here in every single conversation. You're presenting an opportunity, whether that be for help or whether that be for finances or to save them from a job they hate, whatever it is, you're providing an opportunity. It's up to them whether they're going to take it or not. It has nothing to do with you. If they say no, okay, it's not for them. I'm going to move on to the next person who it may be for. But if I allow my emotions to get all caught up in the fact that that one person told me no, and then I take that lack of confidence, my limiting beliefs, and I change my energy for the next person, what if it was right for that person and I just came to them with blah? You know, you have to show up every single time with how you believe and how you feel. And if you don't, then your business will not grow. And I want to interject and give an anecdotal story to this yeah. Yeah. because um, I get at the beginning of the month, sometimes my energy gets too much. I, I've, I am feeling right now, I want two new businesses to launch like last week. That's how I feel. I put that pressure on myself all the time. It drives me. But I let yesterday that pressure that I put on myself <laughs> attack the person through messenger. Okay, so here's the difference with what happened with Jocelyn. I went ahead and I thought, holy cow, this woman is going to go on a live with a big following and say how the product didn't work if it doesn't work. And so my intensity became then at that point about just making it work for her and providing that awesome customer service and the hacker's guides and the keto you videos and slowly building the trust. We were messaging every day on her 10 day experience and, you know, giving her those third party resources. And I did not put the business on the table because I knew she did not want that. However, we're going to get to this, how it organically happened to go from a 10 day to a promoter. But yesterday I had a girl who I almost had saying yes to a 10 day, but she told me she had to get her finances in orders in order. I knew she was with Isogenics and I heard that and I went at her like a slobbering dog. I, like I teach y'all not to do this all the time, but sometimes we can't help ourselves, right? And so as long as you're doing it enough times, you can identify it. And I, uh, and literally I had pulled myself back and be like, huh, I blew that one. That was on me. Okay. I lost it. And I'm not so worried about it because I outbound more than 90% of people do. So I get a second shot and a third shot and a fourth shot. The problem is if you're sending three outbounds a day, you're going to feel pretty defeated the minute you blow a good one. 
it's okay. I'm shaking it off. There's another one out there for me, looking for me. But I went immediately and I said, well, let's get you on this 10 day. And if you love the product, let's start talking about the business and I can make you a lot. And my ego took over and I just, she just pulled back from me and she was like, I don't know if you heard me. I said, I'm with, I said, Gen X. <laughs> and I was, it was like, bow, bow, you know? And I was like, cool, lost the 10 day. I mean, it may come back around, but do you see the differences in energies and approaches and the slow play and their building of a relationship and to put the 10 day experience first and how often do we just jack that up with our own stuff? So Jocelyn, yeah. you had a great 10 day experience and you just did something organic that now we've been doing with teammates and 10 day experiences ever since. So what did that day look like and how did that then proceed? Okay, absolutely. So this is the point, like once you get them a 10 day, it's like dating, you know, when you start, you go on your first date, like you want to make a good impression. You want them to like you, you want to, you know, show value and who you are as the perfect mate for them. It's kind of the same thing. Like you are dating this person in a 10 day experience and they're going to determine whether they want to continue this date or where they want to cut it off. And so giving value, 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 educating them during this process, having those conversations, building that relationship, use this 10 days for this person to become your absolute best friend, if at all possible. Um, this is the time to do three things. Show them how awesome the product is, and they're not going to see that if they're not mixing it the right way, or if they're not you know, doing something that's going to create that good experience. So this is the time to show them how awesome the product is. It's the time for them to see and feel that you care about them and their results and what they have going on. Because if people don't feel like you care and you're just out to get a sale, they're done. So that's a space for you to show you care for them and what they're trying to achieve in their life or the pain point of why they bought the 10 day in the first place. And then you're also showing them what it's like to work with you, which is obviously one of our goals, although you don't want that to be known during a 10 day experience. But one of our goals is that they're going to want to work with us. They're going to want to fall in love with the community, with the product and potentially be an advocate of it. It's, you know, their self. So you want them to feel what it would be like to work with you. And they're going to feel that and they're going to get that first impression during that 10 days. So if you sell a 10 day and then you're like, okay, see you in 10 days, bye. Then they're going to feel that. Give this space to really build value and rapport and a relationship with these people and then plug them into the community. Put them on the prove it page. Get them to start seeing during these 10 days the atmosphere we have here. Um, why they would want to be a promoter. Um, get them to start thinking about that. Just plug them into places that they can really see what we have going on here. And then check on them. Um, most people won't reach out if there's something negative going on, or let's say they don't like a flavor or they didn't have a good experience with something. But if you're reaching out and checking on them, then they feel open to say, well, you know what? I tried this, but I just mixed it with water and I don't like it at all. You know? And so then you can address concerns, fix them, or maybe they're like, I have a headache or this is doing this, or this is doing that. And you can address those issues, give advice move them to a better space so that you're ultimately moving them to results. Whatever the results may be for them, you are helping them and coaching them along the way. And your whole goal during this 10 days is to constantly be saying, are you feeling these things? You know, send a picture of the, the um, benefits from the side of the box. Which one of these are you feeling? Get them to consciously think about what results they're having because they may not have extreme fat loss in 10 days. They may not, you know, sleep great the first couple of days or whatever, but you want to be pointing out what results they are getting and emphasizing those things. So which one of these are you feeling? Awesome, that's great. How is this helping you? If you're feeling energy, how is this changing your life? Get them to acknowledge what they're feeling and then in turn relate it to how it's impacting their life in a positive way. So that's kind of the, 
the organic, the relationship, the value, the education that you pro provide through a 10 day that's ultimately going to lead to the results that they can have in 10 days, which then can move you into the next phase of potential promoter or in building your team. So that's what I do with a 10 day experience. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. So you you built the rapport. How many times have people on here found out after a five day was one and done and you never held their hand through it i don't like the taste of it and now they don't have any more ketones for them to go try it with simply like an orange Lacroix or something that would have tasted good so you're holding their hand through the process now let's get to the part where they are either going to be a, com a customer or a promoter but how you can help move them into that space, empowering them to make that decision. So Jocelyn, what happened on day eight with you? And now what are you doing with people on their 10 day experiences because of your organic journey through it? Right. So this is something that I did you know, previously, it's something that works. If you can do this in your business, you're going to see building that team. You're going to see attracting and moving people into more of a promoter role. Uh, but I do this. So at the end of the 10 days, or actually, I even start the conversation, you know, in the process as I'm checking on them. Um, and it just depends on where someone is in their process when I start having this conversation. So let's say they're on day five or day six and they're feeling awesome and they're loving it and they're raving about it. I may start the conversation then, or maybe they need to like day eight, day nine to really start, you know, connecting to those benefits and those results may start having the conversation then. But what I do is I kind of take their experience I show them those results on the box. I say, which one of these are you feeling? I connect it to their life. And then I say, well, hey, you know, you're almost done with your 10 day. You're loving this and you're doing so awesome and you've had such great results. How would you feel about me sharing these results with, on my social media or with my audience? Because you really could inspire someone else to also achieve these results in their life. Someone that may be seeking the same things you were and you could really inspire them to try this out and change their life. And you're not asking them to promote. You're not asking them to join you as, as a business partner, but you're just asking if you can share the results on your social media. And in that you take that pressure off, but you also empower them by saying you could inspire somebody who doesn't want to inspire somebody unless they're like, a thousand percent introvert, which I've had, and that's okay, that told me they didn't want me to share the results. For the most part, people don't mind that because you're giving them a shout out. You're praising their ego. You're, you know, addressing something that they can inspire. And that's awesome. So what I do is once they say, of course, you know, you can share my results, but I don't want any before and after pictures. And I'm like, okay, of course not. Like some people are cool with it, but for the most part, we're not really promoting just tons of weight loss, right? There's so many other benefits to this product. And so I really try and get them to send me. I'm like, okay, well, great. I'll share your results. First, send me a cute picture you want me to include. Doesn't have to be a before and after. It can be your profile picture or just a cute picture of you smiling after you drink your ketones or whatever. Just send me a cute picture you want me to use. If you don't want to send one, I'll grab one from your profile. And then I say, could you just shoot me over a message of your results, how you're feeling, how this has helped you. And then they just send me a message and I screenshot it. And then I include that in a graphic with their smiling face. And I post that on my social media. When I do that, I share their story because like I told you, stories sell, facts tell. I don't go on there and say, she took a 10 day experience. She did this, she did this, great. You know, it's like I share her story. I share who she is a little bit, why she came to me a little bit. Don't expose their secrets out to the world, but you know, just kind of preface with their story and then the results that they got. I give them like a high five, like huge congratulations. You know, she did great. She got this, this, and this result, energy, better sleep. And then it's all what she said in that, that little message. 
And so then it's showing my social media, like I'm not making this stuff up. Like it says her name on the message. She wrote this. And so it's not something that I can just fabricate. And so it's, it gives that real, it gives that authenticity. And then I'm tagging her in that post or him or whoever. I'm tagging them in that post. And guess what that does? It automatically puts this experience that they're having in front of their audience. This is going to do one of three things, really, maybe four. Um, it's going to, one, show their, their results in front of their audience. So this can do either, one, build your space. You're now in front of a whole new audience of people that are seeing these results that may comment, that may message her. And, you know, she could refer them to you. Uh, that could, that's one thing that could come from this. The second thing that could come from this is I always preface them before I post the results and say, hey, here's the deal. I'm going to post your results. No pressure or anything, but if you have anybody reach out to you and ask what you're doing or if any of your friends happen to comment on the post about what you're doing or what you did, here's what you need to do. Very simple. All you do is ask them, what do they know about ketones and ketosis? And then I'm going to shoot you over this video that I sent you and then just send it to them. And then after that, you could connect me in a conversation if they want to continue. And that coaches them. You're, you're now coaching them on the play that works. So when someone messages them, they don't feel intimidated. They don't know what not to say. They can immediately go into the play that works. And if they so happen to accidentally talk to more than two people, that want a 10 day experience, then now you have instilled confidence that they can do what we do. And you can go to them and say, you know what? You have all these friends that are asking about this. You're doing exactly what I do as a promoter. You're sending the same exact thing I sent you. And now you're instilling confidence in them that they can be a promoter. You're instilling a belief that they have friends on their page that would want to buy a 10 day experience. You're instilling the play that works so that if they do become a promoter, they already know what to do. You've coached them through it before they even sign up. And now that conversation is something that's organic. They can, you can start that conversation because they have people asking. So it's not like, hey, do you want to make money? No, it's, hey, you have all these people. I can take them. I'd be glad for you to refer them to me. But you do realize you're doing exactly what I do. Are you open to learning about how you can make an extra income by sharing your results and sharing your experience here and how great you're feeling? And then boom, you got them. They're like, oh, of course. Like, and sometimes I'm like, you know, do you want me to take these people and potentially make the income? Or would you like to learn about how you can make the income or how you can get free product even as a customer? So you give those options and then you've coached them. They have now have confidence and belief that they can do it. Uh, they know what to do before they even sign up. And you have moved them to a space where they're now organically open to a promoter conversation as opposed to before when they had no clue that this could potentially be something that they could do or would want to do. Because there's an adrenaline rush, right? When we post something and we get our friends asking about it or we see that we can sell because that's, you know, the number one objection is I can't sell anything. I'm not a salesperson. So you have just proven and, and debunked that conversation before it even comes up that they can sell something. And so by doing all this, you build that credibility, you open that organic conversation. And at that point, you know, why wouldn't they join you? And you've already coached them into the play that works. And then they're on a roll when they do join you to start off to that, you know, that GoPro and that Go MVP. Yep. And then you have a woman who had no desire to do it having pre-sold 16 10 days and she has to buy the freaking package then to honor it with her friends right jocelyn absolutely <laughs> <laughs> because it's like you know a next thing you know they have 20 to 30 people asking and it's like 
oh, I, you know, what am I going to do? Like lose out? Like these are my friends. I'm getting this. Dang it. <laughs> no, it's okay. You can give them to me. It's okay. Yeah. I'll take them. Yeah. No. <laughs> so. And if they do, you know, if they do decide that, if they're still not sold on them, if you're being a promoter, okay, well, guess what? Now you just got 10 people that she brought into you and you're building your own business and your own network. And it just, it works. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love it. That's awesome because guys, it's currently credible. This is the situation at hand. This is what's been working. Literally, I just, my mind is gone. I hope today on this call, you just went <laughs> like, that's what's been happening to me lately. And I literally have four people right now that in the last four weeks, I've been running the play that works with them who are scared to death to do community-based marketing or price has been an objection or they don't want to do a sales anything. And four people right now are running the play that works. So when they do buy that experience pack and hit that go button, I'm not teaching them anything brand new in that short amount of time. And so I want to go ahead and close this training up right now because it's at a beautiful timing point that it'll be an excellent replay and we all know I can get long winded. So um, with that being said, here's your action step. Because remember, if you were on the training call on Tuesday, we mobilize people into action. We don't sign them in. We don't lead each other with theology. So today, here's your action step if you want to play ball. Go find two or three. Go find three. These can be either a five or ten day customer or they could just be a customer. Three. That's a very low number on Saturday and this process is so much easier than you could ever imagine. Go find a five or ten day or a customer and run this play that works. Grab the testimony, teach them how to back end the play that works and connect you. And you just see what happens. I love, um, shoot me a text or post on your wall, uh, like hashtag authenticity. It should be authentic, we're, we're in the blue waters. That's what it is about, it's authentic, that word, sharing <laughs> experiences. Absolutely. All right, y'all, have an amazing Saturday, and we will see you on the Sunday night call at 8 for the 101 Improver 101. You just get people on that bike, let it do its thing. Have a good one. Bye, guys. Thanks.